thanks for watching and today I want to derive the formula for the distance between a point P and a plane which is very useful in multivariable calculus and this is a bit improvised so bear with me so go find the distance between a point and let's write p equals to xp, yp, zp because of windows xp, you know, so, so hipster, okay, uh, and a plane ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to zero. And you'll see it's very neat. All right, so just to find and draw a picture. So here you have the plane, AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equals to zero. And you have this point P here, which is XP, YP, ZP. And you basically what we want to find is this. WTFS want to find. Alright, so let's start with something. So suppose you have a random point on the plane. So let's call this x naught, y naught, z naught. Okay, so suppose x naught, y naught, z naught is in the plane. And first of all, let's consider this vector here. Okay. Uh, let's, I guess, call it u. So in u, we can actually calculate this. So maybe in this vector notation is xp minus x0, yp minus y0, zp minus z0. That is one thing, okay, we have this vector u. On the other thing, the most important thing to know about planes, it's this normal vector business. Namely, there is a vector that's actually perpendicular to this plane, and it's actually very easy to find. Namely, given a plane ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to zero, the normal vector, it's simply abc. It's very neat. In other words, just from the equation, it's very easy to read off in the normal vector. All right. And so we have two things here. On the one hand, we have this vector u. On the other hand, we have the normal vector n. Again, it's the normal vector. normal vector n. And what we really want to do, and that's the reason I drew it so big, we want to project u on this vector n. So let's calculate u hat, and people call it like proj or something. u hat, which is the projection of u on this normal vector n. And let's see the formula. So calculate u hat, which is, I guess some people call it, the projection of u on the normal vector. And, and the way to get it, again, using this linear algebra video if you want, is just you hug u with n. So u dot n over n dot n times n. Okay. And in fact, not only that, too bad I erased my picture, but we have this u, right? And we wanted to find this. But we also had our vector n and 
for a new hat. Okay, maybe here, so this is zero, and this is u hat, and then this was x, y, z. Sorry, no. So this is if you want our vector u hat. Of two translation. And notice there is one interesting thing going on here. Namely, to find our thing, it's the same thing as finding the length of u hat. Notice in terms of fingers, those are the two same values. So, really, what we want to find is just the length of u hat. So, we want to find is the length of u hat which some people call the scalar projection. So it's the length of u dot n over n dot n times n. And one thing about norms is that this constant just comes out, but with absolute values, u dot n over n dot n, length of n. And it's the same thing as u dot n. So, n dot n is the same thing as length squared. Think of like 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. It's the same thing as square root of that squared. And length of n is length of n. And the reason I say this is that there's this nice simplification. u dot n over length of n. So really our answer becomes absolute value of u dot n over length of n. And now let's calculate this. It's absolute value of u dot n over length of n. And that becomes absolute value of a times xp minus x naught plus b times yp minus y naught plus c times zp minus z naught over length of n, which is square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Again, I just use the definitions of u and n. annoying thing is this still depends on x naught, y naught, z naught. Ideally, we want to get rid of this just so that it depends purely on our data. But no problem. Let's just expand this out. So it's axp plus byp plus czp minus ax naught minus by naught minus c z naught over square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. All right, now remember what this x naught, y naught, z naught was? It was a random point on the plane. Remember, the plane had the equation ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to zero. Now, because it's on the plane, it satisfies the equation of the plane plus b y naught plus c z naught plus d equals to zero. What does that tell you? Putting this on the right hand side, we get minus a x naught minus y b y naught minus c z naught is actually just equal to d. So this whole mess here. It's just D. And you're left with, I believe that's our formula. Yes, it is. Oh my God. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I mean, of course it is. You know, I'm Dr. Payam, but no, no, I really doubted myself, but yeah. So, we get a formula that doesn't depend on x naught at all. D over square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And what this is, again, it's a distance 
between a point P, XP, YP, ZP, and the plane AX plus BY plus CZ plus D equals to zero. And so maybe let's give one example. So, uh, let me use my notes. Example, the distance between P is 0, 0, minus 1, and 10x plus 2y minus 2z minus 5 equals to 0. It's actually very easy to find. So this formula looks super complicated, but it's not too complicated. Basically, all you do is you just retake the equation of the plane. So 10, 2, minus 2, minus 5. And instead of having x, y, z, you just put your points 0, 0, minus 1. And you divide it by sort of the length of the plane. So square root of you know, 10 squared plus 2 squared plus minus 2 squared. I believe that gives you, so 3 minus 5, so minus 3 in absolute value, it's 3, and that becomes a square root of 108. Cool, cool, cool. Yay. <laughs> All right, so if you like this multivariable font and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.